Hey, yo, Sadil, y'all, this is Cool G Rap right here. And right now you're watching VladTV.com, you heard? Well, who, who, was, who was the original Juice Crew members at the time that you were part Marley of? Marley Marl, Dimples D, Roxanne Shante, MC Shan. You know what I'm saying? And, and Bismarck had started running around with them a, mm -hmm. like a little before I got with them. Mm -hmm. So they was like growing and the name was like prominent in the hood and all that. And people was checking for them. Now, how, did, how did you feel when, when uh, Karis won one at y'all like that? You know, I didn't really take it like... He, 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 didn't, he didn't put your name in it. Yeah, he didn't put other. He didn't put Big Daddy Kane name. He didn't put Bismarck name and, and, and things of that nature. But but he did put Roxanne Shante's Sh yeah, name. Shantae he did, he Shan. did put uh, Shan's name. He did put uh, Marley Marl's name into it, which I assume you were close to at the time. Shante had did um, her claim to fame was making the record, uh, the the Roxanne, one of the Roxanne answers. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So Roxanne Shante could hold her own weight. Mm -hmm. And we talking at a time when hip hop was stayed on the record. Yeah. It wasn't like beef, like you had to like bang out with somebody or something like that. So Shantae could hold her own weight mm -hmm. because she can embarrass somebody on stage. You know right. what I'm saying? Very capable of doing that. And and, and, and Shan could hold his own weight because Shan was um a, a, a credible MC. You know what I'm saying? So I think nobody felt the need to jump in. You know what I'm saying? Like unless they made a personal attack. You know what I'm saying? Like, you start singling people out like, you, yeah, I'm talking to you, Kane and G-Rap and, and all of y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you wanted a Juice Crew member. Like, where I'm from, you wanted a, every Juice Crew member to be able to hold their own weight. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm an artist, I know I could've held my own weight. I'm sure Kane was an artist like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, Biz was somebody you wouldn't want to even beef with. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Because Biz was so funny, you know what I'm saying? He just make everybody laugh and and, and his music was so hot. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You're going to rock the Biz shit. You know what I'm saying? You, you didn't even want to start nothing with Biz. You know what I'm saying? As far as a, a, a rhyme battle or nothing like that because that wasn't his thing. Mm -hmm. His thing was um he had a character. Right. <laughs> but, um... As far as anybody challenging any of us, uh, um, um, outside of the, the KRS One MC Sham beef, yeah. I mean that was pretty much non-existent except for uh, I think it was the group from Philly, with Steady B and them um, and, and, mm -hmm. and all that, which I, I really only have a, a real vivid recollection of. You know what I'm saying? But me knowing the history. Um, I know that 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 um that little thing did exist between between Juice Crew and, and Steady B. No, it wasn't even a beef. It was like they just threw an arrow. They threw a dart. Right. You know what I'm saying? And we were so hot at the time. It was like no need to even address that. You know what I'm right. saying? Like no, even though Steady B and them was doing their thing, but Juice Crew was popping at such a level, like. You know, how could you not pop? You got Big Daddy Kane, you got Cool G Rap, you got Shan, you got Shantae, Biz Marquis, TJ Swan, Craig G, Master Ace, Granddaddy IU. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. how could you not be popping at that time? I, I, I'd heard that uh, that Shantae ended up running into KRS, like at a bank or something, he just cussed him out, and he just <laughs> said he was just stuck. He couldn't say nothing at the time. <laughs> <laughs> you know why? Because, yeah, um, KRS is um I know I know he 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 did, he did his thing with it, with the bridges over and attacking the juice crew, mm -hmm. but when you meet Chris personally, he's a real good dude. You know he's a real very respectful dude. You know what I'm saying? This is what I mean by back in those times. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like beef on a on a on a record. It was like beef in the street where you see somebody and you know you popping off at them and they popping at you or whatever. Even though I think a lot of that's phony baloney because if, if these dudes really had beef, it'd be a lot more dudes laid down. Right. You know what I'm saying? Then, then you know, it wouldn't just be Scott LaRock, you know what I'm saying, getting killed from street violence, you know what I'm saying? And, and um, 
and Tupac and Biggie. It would be countless others. 